Hello everyone. I really hope and uh, wish you are doing great uh, in your academics. However, uh, I feel I felt like uh, helping you in uh, understanding glucokinase and uh, hexokinase reaction. So, here is the video on just in brief about why we have glucokinase and uh, hexokinase enzymes. The function of both glucokinase and hexokinase is same. What they do is they are going to convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. Now why do we have two enzymes to do the same function? In order to understand that, so we need to know where is the location of glucokinase and where is the location of hexokinase. Now the glucokinase is located in liver and beta cells of pancreas whereas the hexokinase it is located in other cells other than the liver and beta cells of pancreas now as you might be knowing that liver and beta cells of pancreas they have got GLUT2 transporters over the membrane and these GLUT2 transporters they are low affinity glucose transporters and their KM is 15 millimolar. It means whenever blood glucose levels are high during that time only liver and beta cells of pancreas they will allow glucose to get inside. Now the glucokinase it has to work whenever the blood glucose levels are high. Whereas the hexokinase which is present in other peripheral cells other than liver and beta cells, it has to work at all times. Now before we get into the kinetics, so let me draw a glucokinase and hexokinase reaction velocity curve. So I am drawing uh, first the hexokinase reaction velocity curve. So the x-axis is the substrate concentration and that is the glucose concentration here. So the reaction velocity curve goes something like this for exokinase. It shoots up and then it saturates early. This is the reaction velocity curve for hexokinase. Whereas the reaction velocity curve for the glucokinase, it is it goes something like this. Now as you can note from these two curves, that is curve for glucokinase is in pink color and curve for hexokinase is in yellowish color. Now, glucokinase it is clear from this particular curve is that it has got high Vmax, higher Vmax. It has maximum velocity higher than hexokinase. Hexokinase it has relatively low Vmax when you compare the velocity of the reaction. Now if you compare the Km of glucokinase and exokinase, so Km for hexokinase falls something here. So this is the Vmax here, bring that point to the y axis and take half of that point and interpolate that down here to the pink line and then draw it down here. So this point is the Km for glucokinase. Now do the same thing for hexokinase. Hexokinase Vmax is here. Take half of it and draw it down here. So this is the Km for hexokinase. Now the hexokinase has got low Km, low Km and that Km is 0 0.05 millimolar glucose. And whereas glucokinase it has got high Km km and the km value is 5 millimolar it means glucokinase it has got 100 times more km than hexokinase now one thing that you need to understand what is the meaning of km here km is the substrate concentration at which enzyme reaches half of its maximum velocity it means lower the km enzyme has got higher affinity towards the substrate and higher the Km, enzyme has got lower affinity towards the substrate. Now since the hexokinase has got low Km, it means it has got higher affinity for glucose. So it means it is going to work even under low blood glucose concentration. 
Coming with the glucokinase, glucokinase has got high Km, it means it has lower affinity for glucose. It means glucokinase works only when there is plenty of glucose out there. Now let's talk about Vmax. What is the real meaning of Vmax? Now the Vmax indicates the capacity of the enzyme. If enzyme has got low Vmax, it means it's going to saturate early. It means it's a low capacity enzyme, it means it doesn't take much of glucose to convert into glucose 6-phosphate. Whereas the glucokinase has got higher Vmax, it means it's a high capacity enzyme. It means it is going to, it is able to convert more glucose into glucose 6-phosphate because it's not going to saturate early. With this background information, let's move on to see what is the why what is the real purpose of having glucokinase in liver and beta cell sub pancreas and hexokinase in other cells other than liver and beta cell sub pancreas now in this particular slide so i have written here the characteristics of glucokinase which is a high km and high vmax enzyme and hexokinase is a low km and low vmax enzyme now the glucokinase is present in liver and beta cells of pancreas. It means only when there is high blood glucose level. So glucokinase in the liver is going to convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate and keep it as glycogen or it is going to convert that into fatty acids. In the beta cells of pancreas, only when there is high blood glucose, beta cells glucokinase convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate and then ATP level rises in the beta cells and that helps in the release of insulin from beta cells to take care of high blood glucose level. That is why it is important for glucokinase to have high, VMA, high Km and high Vmax so that it works only when there is more blood glucose levels. Now the hexokinase which is present in other peripheral cells, so it has low Km and low Vmax. The use of this is having low Km means higher affinity for glucose it will make sure that uh, the peripheral cells will get glucose at all time for glycolysis to go on because by it is going to convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate at all times, at all blood glucose concentration. Having low Vmax, you need to understand what is the importance of hexokinase having low Vmax. Having low Vmax, this is hardly saturable enzyme. It is, it means like peripheral tissues they will convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate but the enzyme is going to saturate early indicating that whatever the glucose that is needed for the cell whatever the amount of energy that is needed for the cell only that much amount of glucose is used and converted to glucose 6-phosphate anything that is in excess is not converted into glucose 6-phosphate note that hexokinase is going to saturate early it means not much of once it is saturated not much of glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate if the glucose is not converted to glucose 6-phosphate glucose will come back into the bloodstream by the glucose transporter note that glucose transporter is a reversible transporter it means if the glucose is not converted to glucose 6-phosphate so glucose is going to come back into the bloodstream and that glucose can be taken up by other peripheral cells which needs glucose so this is a kind of redistribution here. So one cell if it has plenty of glucose and it doesn't want any glucose for energy needs, that glucose will be sent back to the blood and the same glucose can be taken up by the cell which needs glucose for its energy purpose. So that is why it is important for us to have exokinase, low Km and low Mx. Now what we will do is we will change this Kms like Glucokinase, let's see what happens if you are changing glucokinase from high Km into low Km. So what I'll do now is I'm going to change. I'm going to change glucokinase from high Km to low Km. So consider that glucokinase has changed its Km. So I am taking out this high Km and consider that it has a low Km and high Vmax. Now your glucokinase has got low Km but high Vmax. Since it has got low Km means it has developed high affinity for glucose. 
it means glucokinase will become always active so it means it is going to convert glucose into glucose 6 phosphate at all blood glucose concentration because of this what happens more and more glucose is consumed by liver and convert that into glucose 6 phosphate beta cells convert more and more glucose into glucose 6 phosphate more and more insulin is released into the blood stream and that will lead to hypoglycemia so if the glucokinase changes its km to low km and retains the same vmax high vmax that will lead to hypoglycemic condition so you need to remember that so if you change glucokinase km from high to low so that can give rise to hypoglycemia okay so now what we will do is we will change the vmax So consider that glucokinase has got high Km but it has got low Vmax now. Glucokinase has got instead of high Vmax consider it has got low Vmax. So what happens? Glucokinase is going to act only when there is a high blood glucose level that's fine because it is having high Km but since the Vmax is changed now your enzyme is having low Vmax. It, it means it's going to saturate early. It's not going to consume more and more glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. Liver is not able to consume more glucose. Beta cells are also not converting more glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. That's why not much of insulin is released into the circulation. So overall what, what happens is it leads to hyperglycemia, excess levels of glucose in the blood. This is what happens if the glucokinase undergoes mutation. So we have seen two things here. If the glucokinase changes its Km from high to low, low Km but retain high Vmax, that leads to hypoglycemia. Or if your glucokinase changes its Vmax from high to low Vmax and retains high Km, so it gives rise to hyperglycemia. Now let's move, the, move on to see same thing with hexokinase. Now consider that now the exokinase normally it has low Km and low Vmax. What we will do now is we will change the Km of exokinase and make it high Km enzyme. Let's see what happens. If the peripheral cells have got high Km exokinase but low Vmax exokinase. High Km but low Vmax. Vmax is not changed here. So because of this what happens exokinase is not active until more glucose is present in the blood. It means it becomes a less sensitive enzyme. It means more glucose is accumulated, will accumulate in the bloodstream because peripheral tissue is simply not consuming glucose and that will give rise to hyperglycemia condition. Now what we will do is we will change this instead of low Km. So let's keep the low Km one but let's change the maximum velocity from low Vmax into high Vmax. Let's see what happens. Now, hexokinase is a low Km enzyme, but it is a high Vmax enzyme. Because of this, what happens? Since it's a low Km, it has high affinity. So more and more glucose is, means this enzyme is going to act even at low blood glucose concentration. But this enzyme now, since it is a mutated enzyme having high Vmax, it has got higher capacity. It means it's not going to saturate early. More and more glucose is used here, consumed and convert that into glucose 6-phosphate. It means much of the glucose from the circulation is consumed here, giving rise to hypoglycemia. Okay, and that's how change in the Vmax of exokinase from low to high, it gives rise to hypoglycemia. Just to recap everything, so glucokinase, if you change the Km of glucokinase from high to low Km that will give rise to hypoglycemia or if you can uh, change glucokinase Vmax from high to low Vmax it will give rise to hyperglycemia whereas the hexokinase if you change the Km from low that's normal to high Km that will give rise to hyperglycemia and if you change the Vmax of hexokinase normally it is low but change it to high Vmax so it means more and more glucose is consumed here and that will give rise to hypoglycemia. This is all about glucokinase and hexokinase reaction applied aspect and this is what is the purpose of 
having two enzymes here glucokinase in the liver and beta cell sub pancreas hexokinase in the other cells and all that happens whenever there is a change in the kinetics of enzyme giving rise to hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia this is the applied aspect that as a medical student or as a, uh, or as a person who is connected with the medical science to know why we really need to know about glucokinase and hexokinase reaction i hope this video has helped you in understanding glucokinase and hexokinase if you have any question please don't hesitate to uh, write a question in the comment section below or if you want any specific videos that you any concept that you are not able to understand so please let me know i'll try to make video on that as early as possible given the tight schedule that i have so see you some other time so have a good day thank you thanks for watching and if you feel like these videos are helpful so please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that you get a regular notification whenever i upload a new video so that you are kept informed thanks again see you next time